I believe God's got a Christmas miracle for you. But right now, God wants you to posture to be able to share it with others. Let me give you five, just so you can put it all in your hand, five steps to a bake to bake a little bit of joy for someone else and in the process be blessed by spreading some joy. So the first thing you gotta do, number one is first make sure your bowl is clean. I know that sounds like it's, it, it sounds logical and it sounds like, well, I just took for granted the bowl should be clean. But you know, the truth is a lot of times our hearts, we, we want to invite God's joy in, but in, in our hearts are all kinds of nasty things that we really need removed from our heart first. That's the very first step. Make sure that your bowl is clean. Before you mix anything in, you've got to make sure that you've cleaned the bowl. It's like a spiritual principle. You don't want to start making cookies if there's dog hair or cat hair in your bowl. You don't want to start mixing joy if there's anger, resentment, or unforgiveness in your bowl. Right? You, you got to get it out. You got to get the cat hair out of your bowl. So how do you do that? <laughs> you ask Jesus to come in and you say, Lord, I'm just laying down all my fear, all my worries, my angers down at the foot of the cross. You got to remember what the angel said. The angel said, fear not. Right? Isn't that what the angel said? Before he even said, I got good news of great joy, he told the disciples, fear not. I, I got to get the, the hair out of your bowl. Isn't that what he said? Sort of? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, what's Psalm 37 verse 1 say? It says, fret not because of evildoers. And you had to really help me with this recently. I was like, but this is, you know, and sometimes it's just so easy. It seems like, Lord, do you know what's going on around? But this is what he said, fret not because of evildoers. Okay, so... First thing you gotta do is you gotta clean that bowl. There you go, you got your nice bowl clean. So there's point one. Number two, now that your bowl is clean, right, you got to put some good news in your bowl. So let's get some good news going on here. Yep. Ah, oh, look at that, good news. I got good news. If you're gonna make a joy cake, you've got to have good news and you gotta have lots of it. That's one of the things in this recipe, you gotta have lots of good news because good news this is what the angel said it's the primary ingredient to great joy you got to have the good news in your life in your heart you got and you got you do it you got to receive it you got to receive the good news so that you can share it remember the angel of the lord said i'll bring you good news of great joy good news is the foundational ingredient you need to know how to counter the bad news that some people live in with the appropriate good news for example if somebody's struggling in their health you should be armed with some good news that says, well, you know, the Bible says that by Jesus' stripes, you were healed. If somebody's struggling, let's say they lost their job, you should be armed with some Philippians 4 verse 19 that says that, well, you know, the Bible says that my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. God's got this for you. God's going to lead you. You know, you should be able to tell people who just feel like they're without direction. Maybe somebody's in a relationship and they're just struggling and they're being tormented. You should be able to give them some good news that says, you know what? Jesus is the good shepherd and he says that his sheep hear his voice. Listen to his voice and he'll direct you. He's a relationship expert. 